and today's video is going to be a vlog style and right now I'm going to cook my lunch and since I'm just gonna be eating alone today I decided to cook my favorite um, Korean noodles this is the Shin Ramyun and I discovered something that I can add to my noodles so join me today as I cook this okay so I've already added a powder and um, it's also simmering. I'm going to add the fish tofu. So I just discovered this and it tastes great actually. So I'm going to add a few pieces. And then I'm going to add my mozzarella filled tteokbokki. So let's just wait for this to boil. Then I'm going to add my noodles. Okay, so it's now already cooked and I'm gonna add some cheese. I like adding a lot of cheese because it's, it just tones down the spiciness of the noodles. And I will just let that melt. Hey guys, so now I'm in my... Um, my painting area so I don't really eat here but this is the place where I get the most sunlight so we are just going to chat here and I have my noodles right here and yeah I'm just gonna eat there's like a cheese here I think mozzarella will taste better with this type of um, noodles but they don't have mozzarella right now. And okay, I'm trying not to mess up. Okay. So let's just eat. I'm going to chat with you guys about YouTube. So let me just eat. Oh, that's really good. Korean noodles are like my comfort food. I just love adding cheese because it cuts down the spiciness of the noodles. And yeah, I like the milky flavor that it gives to the noodles. And I also like adding my dog bulky. And recently I found out that you can also add fish tofu which is really really good as well. So this is the tteokbokki. It's a Korean rice cake. Um, the one that I bought has mozzarella inside. Just really really yummy. Okay, so I think I think I have to finish eating before I talk to you guys. It's difficult it's difficult to talk and eat at the same time. Um let me just finish my meal then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the YouTube monetization hey guys so I just finished eating um, I decided to finish eating my noodles before I start talking to you guys and so we are going to talk about the YouTube monetization so recently just last June 16 I was able to start monetizing my YouTube channel, this channel, and I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me, for watching my videos. I started my YouTube video back in 2016, so that was um, three years ago, and the reason why I started posting there was because I wanted to post longer videos, but on Instagram, you can only, back then, you can only post up to 15 seconds so if i wanted to post like a long video like a one minute video i would have to do four separate posts for that and so i started to post on youtube i wasn't regularly posting but i i just decided to post and if you try to scroll through my uh, videos you would see that the quality isn't really that good yet because i was well, I was using my phone and I guess the resolution and also the lighting has an effect on the on the 
uh, video so it was a little blurry but yeah so that's how I started I wanted to share um, simple tutorials for any beginner who is frustrated with watercolor um, and yeah so I, I did not apply for the YouTube partnership program before because I got lazy <laughs> so that's the reason why I, I took this long to be able to monetize the channel even if I probably could have before so late last year around October I decided that um, maybe it's time to apply for the partnership um, program of YouTube so I followed all the steps for the monetization and I, I had a hard time reaching 4,000 hours so in order to monetize your channel you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 view uh, watch hours and I don't know why but it's it's a little difficult I guess for an art channel to have a lot of views and it took a long time so I started to also research about how to grow your channel and one of the things that um, the creators would say is that well first of all don't think about the money first um, just just upload whatever you're passionate about so that's what I did um, I, I didn't really think about earning from YouTube when I started posting videos I guess right now it's really just a bonus that I started to earn from YouTube so I monetized I started the application last uh, October and then another advice that the other creators gave is to upload regularly and so I wasn't really able to upload that much right away um, but recently I became more disciplined and I am trying to upload at least twice a week if I can do three videos a week then that's better but yeah I'm trying twice a week or I guess if I'm so busy at least once a week so I hope that you're enjoying the videos um, and so yeah going back to the 4,000 hours it was very difficult um, I guess I guess uh, it it's just slightly easier for me since I started back in uh, 2016 so I already have the watch hours I think I started about I started last year I checked the, the minutes I think I was around 160 or 170 thousand minutes and you need 240,000 minutes or equivalent to 4 hour, 4,000 hours of uh, watch time so yeah it took, it took a while that was, all, that was October and then now it's already June um, and just to show you guys I checked my my revenue for this is about 6-7 days and it's eleven dollars and fifty four cents and I'm really I don't know I'm really really happy it's it's just nice to earn from yeah doing what you love to do I know that it's not really that big I mean compared to other other uh, youtubers but I'm really I'm really happy and I would always ask the reason why I post videos just to kind of keep me grounded and I don't really want to think a lot about the money of course it's a plus to earn from uh, YouTube but one of the reasons one of the main reasons why I wanted a YouTube channel is really to um, be able to help other beginners so as much as possible I try I try to do simple tutorials and also uh, product reviews because when I was starting out before I buy a product I would always go to YouTube to
to watch product reviews because it's really different if you just see the photo like for example if you see the photo of a set of paints it's different when you see somebody using it that's um, that's how you decide if you really want to buy it or not so I just thought of doing product reviews as well for my channel just in case it might help somebody out there and yeah I also love like connecting with you guys connecting with other people who are interested in art or in watercolor um, so yeah that's that's just one of the reasons why I wanted to um, put out more videos okay so but I was checking my Google Adsense and um, my earnings are not really reflecting on Google Adsense so I'm not really sure if I should be happy with the $11 that I saw on my YouTube analytics um, I have to research more and check why it's still zero in my in my Google Adsense so if you are familiar with that please do comment down below and help me out um, yeah so I also know that you need like a you need to reach the ten dollar threshold to get the the pin. So you need the password because you need the password because Google needs to verify your address. So yeah, I still have to research how to get the password. And then um, I think you cannot withdraw the amount yet because there's also a threshold for that you need to reach $100 to be able to withdraw that and if I do reach that $100 mark I will definitely try to make a video and let you guys know um, yeah so I just wanted to share this with you because I feel like I feel like you guys have been part of this journey as well and I wanted to share it with you um and yeah i mean i'm happy because i guess what i'm going to earn from here i can use i can use it to buy more art materials and <laughs> do more reviews for you guys and also one more thing um i wanted to share this with you as well for the jackson's art um, affiliate link so a lot of you guys use that link thank you so much and I can actually see the things that you guys bought, but I can't see who bought it. Um, so a lot of you bought Caddy Journal, some of you bought paints, some of you bought the Princeton brushes. And so thank you so much for supporting me again. And um, it really, really means a lot. And I hope that through this channel, I will be able to help more people. Well, I guess I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in my next video. Bye!